Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, test 3 or 4, haven't uploaded. Test 2, 3. Um, failed continually to get the Deldinia Concentrica to take a spark from Ferro Rod. Uh, so, sorry, from Flint and Steel. I'm continually trying to use the casting method. I'm not very good at it and I actually suck at it. But I'm going to give it one more try. I've been looking, doing a bit more research on it and I have seen it done and he was successful. I have broken up most of it into the fine dust and that is what he seems to have the most success with the bloke I saw do it. The other method I saw was ember transfer. So get a bit of char cloth and then you transfer it onto a piece and then put that piece into your bird's nest. If that works, I'll do ember transfer. Then I'll pause the video. It is sunny. I will take the video out onto the outside and use a magnifying lens and get an ember with a magnifying glass as well and we'll call it a day um if i can't get it with flint and steel i'll just say i am not capable of doing it and i don't know why i can't replicate that um maybe it is a bit too dry uh, not dry enough it does look very dry, it's very crumbly, so I would say it, it should be dry enough. Um, this casting method is not my favourite method, so it could come down to me being a bit incompetent with that as well. I have seen it where you are standing up and casting across so you're sharing sparks across across it see with casting you're casting up 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 above it and by the time the sparks get down to it they have cooled down these are only about 800 degrees so by the time they get to there they are a little bit cooler so that's why they're not catching as well the closer you get to the material, the more chance you have of knocking your tin over. Um, casting over the top like that is a good way of doing it, but I can't do that here with the way the camera is set up because I just don't have enough room to be able to do it properly. So that's why I do my casting method the way I do it. Um, there is another way of putting a mesh over the top and then you can basically cast down onto it as well and without fear of even if you do knock the tin over the mesh stops everything from falling out so I'm going to do that I'm going to get a piece of mesh to put over this tin eventually and we'll go from there but let's get on to trying to do this let's see if I can drive some sparks into there and get it to take. I'm not going to spend too much time driving sparks in there. If I can get some to catch, all well and good. If I can't, I will call it a day and try the ember transfer. So I'm getting good sparks going in there. I just don't know why. They aren't catching.
Yeah, I've got one going. And I just blew it over. This is the trouble I had before where I, I, I could get one going and then it would not coalesce into an ember. See, none of that's going. Normally you can tell that there is a smoke coming up off it. It's this fine dust that you'll tend to... Yeah, this is exactly why I hate this method. It's problematic at best. And it's very hard on your stones. One more go. Now I'm going to call that. Well, obviously, I, I just can't seem to get a ferro rod, uh, a flint and steel to catch. That's, um, yeah, just not me. Whether I'm doing it wrong. It could be a little bit too wet, maybe, but it seems very dry to me. Um... There's nothing wrong with this ferro rod. Ah, uh, with ferro rod. I keep saying ferro rod. There's nothing wrong with this striker. This, this flint and steel is working very well. So that's well and truly lit now. That was just put onto a lit with using a bit of char cloth. I, I, I think I took it off camera, sorry for that. So once you do get it going, it's very Chaga-like.
So I can transfer the ember over with using a bit of char cloth, but I can't seem to be able to get it to go with flint and steel as per normal. Um, I will pause this and take it out into the sunlight and show you using an ember on sunlight. So I'll just pause this and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're out there again. Hopefully you can see this is in sunlight. I haven't got my mic on, sorry. I didn't plug it in. Normal six power magnifying glass. Already got smoke going. So I'd say that's already embered. Yep, it's already got amber. So as you see, it's about half a second. Oh, it went out. I keep blowing the other one out. Probably need a little bit longer. That's all fully embered up now. It's hot, too hot to touch. Yeah, it's all fully embered up. So, yeah, a couple of seconds in sun, no dramas with the magnifying glass. Yeah, so, too easy. Anyway, thanks for watching.